I've been wanting to on-site double adapter for about 10 years now, and a couple of months ago I was finally able to do it. It's located at the Gateway Crag here in the Blue Mountains, which is a pretty specky little crag. You walk along this ridge line looking out across the whole valley and then fang a left down into the three wind eroded caves. Double Adapter sits in the right hand cave, starting up the left hand side, up a route called Middle Earth which is about 30, and then after you do its crux and before the final rest, you blast across the lip of the caves to the anchors of the amateur. Let's crack in now, this is my on-site of Double Adapter. So heading up into the left hand side of the cave starts up on a little platform. Basically from the beginning, I think I was having bogus sequences. There's a couple of ways that you can go through this section. I was belaying Amanda on it the other day and she was staying fairly direct here and getting this left hand side pull with her right hand, but I've got it with my left here. And it seems to kind of work and you go up to this pretty okay kind of slopey jug. Clip the draw, have a rest for a moment. And then this sequence that I'm about to do is totally bogus. I've seen a few people do it a lot differently now and uh, I've chosen a pretty hard sequence, but it's the nature of onsighting. There's kind of a moment here when you just gotta trust this foot on my stand up and the match. Definitely the hard way to do this. That right hand side underclean kind of side pull thing I've got just isn't really much of a thing. And then I've got myself totally spread out here and could just feel the barn door about to happen. Heaps of tension through my right toe to hold, hold the barn door back, but we're through it. Good little rest, clip up. Move up into this next section. I'm feeling pretty good at this stage. But it's always kind of, um, you never really know what's in store, which I guess is the nature of the on-site. Come across to this kind of, it's not really much of a rest, but they're kind of okay-ish holds. Chuck the drawer up, and you can see the, the traverse off to the right-hand side of the cave now. This is actually the crux of Middle Earth big right hand punch up to this kind of side pull thing. Quick little chalk before we shoot off. Hit that and then I've chucked in my heel and you're going up to a pretty good hold here and you get a good little rest. But that's the crux of the middle earth part at least. Click the next drawer and now we commence the traverse across. It's kind of funny here, I'm, I'm trying to work out whether I go feet first or hands first. It's always a bit hard to work that out. Sometimes it feels better one way rather than the other. I'm kind of on these like slopey one pad edges the whole time, which aren't actually that... Uh, Oh, squeezing through that. That was a bit of a like, oh, I hope this works kind of moment. So you're on these slopey one pad edges the whole time. And they're kind of good, but being that it's the same, same kind of hold every time, makes it kind of fatiguing through the rest. Feeling okay coming out of this rest. But now you can see my left elbow starting to raise up. My <laughs> pump started to come in. And this crossover was kind of tricky, holding all the tension. And cut, and then you're on pretty good holds here. And at this point, I kind of thought that we were on. Up to the slot. And then two more moves up to the anchor. I skipped a draw there because I just, Figured that the fall was going to be nice and safe and didn't want to waste the energy trying to clip it on. And that was it. That's double adapter. I'm super stoked to make it happen. Always feel a bit stressed heading off on an on-site attempt and especially on one that I've been saving for a long time. 
but I love on siding so much and I can't wait to do a bit more of it this year. There's a few more that I've got in the back of my mind, so can't wait to dig in and get into that headspace again sometime soon. Thanks for watching.